Hello YouTube. Well, I apologize for not posting any videos for a few weeks. Hasn't been a lot really exciting going on. Oh, my better half and I took a road trip for a week to go visit some friends and to uh, attend my niece's wedding. Then I got back, I got sick for a week, so I'm kind of on the mend from that right now. I still don't have the radiator back for the 170. My experience with that radiator shop is they do really good quality work at a fair price, but they're not fast. And in this instance, I can live with that. But uh, I've been puttering around on a few things the last few days. I almost never work on on uh, stuff for other people anymore, except, uh, except for uh, one or two friends. Uh, that's the case here. This is a 12-wheel H&S V-Rake. And this actually used to be on this farm here. It belonged to my good friend that I used to farm together with. Then when we sold the dairy cows and cut back on, our, on, uh, on hay, he sold this to his nephew. And uh, I did a little work on this a couple days ago. The problem with this is when, when this wing went up, it went over center and was went way too far. The problem was this, uh, this bracket right here, it, uh, like most farmers with equipment, you'll find a weak spot. And this had a, it was kind of thin around this pivot point here. And this bracket started to bend. So I put a great big gusset in it and, uh, put a spacer here to, uh, to land on that stop and make up for the, the amount that's bent. So, uh, this thing is getting kind of wore out, but hopefully he'll get a few more years out of it. Uh, this rake is actually really nice for for uh, raking light hay. It's big enough that uh, using uh, with a nine foot cut you can triple windrow them in one pass. So, so I've been working on that a little bit, and uh, today I'm up here in the old shop. We'll uh, we'll walk in there. And you might remember earlier this winter, I picked up a $55 uh, hay rake at an online auction. Well, I decided to increase its value by 50% by throwing $25 worth of paint on it. So that's what I've been doing so far today. Yeah, I brushed it on, but I don't care. It's a $55 hay rake. So uh, I'll probably probably paint the wheels tomorrow. I think I got a couple cans of red paint down in the in the barn that left over from another project. So this might get red wheels on it. We'll see. And uh, I've got my old wood furnace fired up in here. I've got a bunch of scrap wood I need to get I need to get burned up. So I've been been shoving that into the wood furnace. Back in the day. Uh, like 30 years or so ago, I used to keep a, used to cut enough firewood to keep the keep the fire keep the furnace going in here all winter long, keep this heated full time. But that's been a while. Also got two of my lawnmowers in here. Uh, of course, usually I cut the cut along with the cub, my cub low boy. But I I need to uh, need to have something to uh, mow in the areas that are hard to get to with the cub. So of course I didn't pay anything for either of these because I'm far too cheap to actually pay for a lawnmower. Uh, that one's been on the farm here for quite a while. I got it, it's got a 16 horse Briggs V-twin in it. Uh, I overhauled the Briggs and uh, it actually works pretty good. It does the nicest job of any mower I got. If I'm having, uh, having people over and want the place spiffed up nice, I use that one. Uh, this Husqvarna, my former neighbor gave that to me a couple of years ago. It's kind of beat up and it was it was leaking oil like a sieve. It's got a 22 horse Briggs in it, V-twin. And uh, when he went to buy a new mower, they wouldn't give him anything for this on trade-in. So he gave it to me and I pulled the motor out, put new seals and gaskets in it. And uh, it actually does the job. It seems to run pretty good now. So right now it needs a drive belt. That's why it's in here. But uh, usually I mow the lawn with the cub and then go into all the places I can't get to with the cub and kind of trim it up with this. So. 
So that's what I've been up to lately. Nothing too exciting going on here on the farm yet. Winter hasn't completely loosened its grip. But uh, when something interesting happens, I'll bring you along. So until then, everyone out there, have a good day.